The Hudson River rivalry edition for the playoffs is over. The Devils win the series over the New York Rangers 4-3 to three with a 4 to nothing victory in Game 7 on Monday night. Happy times for Devils fans. And we're going to talk some Devils hockey. We're going to do that with Christy Flannery. She is a writer for the Hockey News. She joins me now. Christy, how's it going? We're good. We're tired. We're not feeling that great, but we're we're getting through. Well, I'll tell you who is good. My producer, Chris DeLuca. He's been in the best mood I've seen him in all year today. He is a big Devils fan. He is happy. He is happy to produce this segment. He's been a bit too much, but, you know, he's happy to talk some Devils hockey. So let's let's do that. Let's get into it. Now, the Devils, they had a poor outing in Game 6, Christy, but they bounced back with a vengeance in Game 7. What adjustments did you see Lindy Ruff implement last night? You know, I think it's funny because after game six, you kind of looked at the team and you're like, they need to play what the way they did in game five. That was literally what they had to do. And even Palat, when he met with the media before, you know, game seven, he's like, we're going to be fine. He's like, we just have to play like we did in game five. And that's exactly what they did with Akira getting the shutout. The team just shut the Rangers down. It didn't look like the Rangers really had any you know, real, um, like, time in the offensive zone. The Devils had their sticks in the right lane. They had their bodies in the right places. And the Rangers just had nothing last night. They really did. They had nothing. They scored nothing. <laughs> Four to nothing was the victory for the Devils. You mentioned Akira Schmid, right? And he's been arguably one of the best stories in the NHL playoffs so far. Back-to-back -back shutouts at home. What can you attribute his success to that we saw in the first-round series against the Rangers? So I love the Akira Schmidt story because it's all about his demeanor and his calmness. And I believe in an interview with uh, that Tom Fitzgerald did, I think he even admitted that Schmidt's not the most athletic goaltender that they have, but it's just how he approaches the game and just that calmness that goes from him and just kind of resonates to the guys in front of him. And that's really, that's it. It's amazing. And even talking to him after a loss, after a win, he's so even keeled when he speaks that it's, it's his calmness, and I love that that's the storyline, and his mentality is what's kind of the focus of this series win for the Devils. Yeah, and you wonder how that translates for him as well as this young Devils squad moving forward now in the playoffs, getting back-to-back -back shutout victories and getting one in a Game 7. That's pretty big right there. Okay, but this is something that I know my producer, Chris DeLuca, we mentioned before. He will tell you all the time. It's been a rough decade for New Jersey and their fans. With this win over the Rangers, do you feel that the Devils demons of the past decade, they've been exercised? Do you feel that way, Christy? I feel like the team and the organization, they turn the page. And when you look at what the Devils did, this wasn't a fluke. They, they have such young talent. This isn't a team that went out and bought, and bought a bunch of pieces, kind of like the Rangers did with Tarasenko and Kane. This is a young team that believes in themselves, and you have Jack that's 21, Dawson's 21, Heischer's 24, Siegenthaler's 25. Like, these guys are all so young, and that's why this is the start of something for the Devils. This is the start of them becoming the competitive team that fans knew and loved from, you know, years ago. Yeah, it is. The youth, the youth is there, and the youth prevailed here in this series against the much older Rangers team. Now, quick turnaround for New Jersey. They'll be headed to Carolina. What is going to be different about this series, and where can the Canes hurt the Devils? Do the Canes have an advantage over the Devils here in this series, and where do you think they can hurt them? So it's so funny. I actually reached out to my colleague who covered the Islanders because he obviously saw Carolina, you know, six games in a row. And he basically was telling me that it's all about Carolina's aggressiveness in all three zones, but especially on the penalty kill. And we all know the Devils power play might not be their strong. There wasn't their strongest point at times throughout this series. Um, but Carolina is not going to give the Devils much time or space to work with anything. So really, I think what it's going to be key is the Devils forecheck. I don't know if the Devils are going to be able to kind of just seamlessly skate through the neutral zone to get into the offensive zone against Carolina. So there might be more adjustments that the coaching staff is going to have to make for this series. It's all about adjustments in the playoffs. Christy, we will see in a quick turnaround for the Devils as game one of their second round series with the Hurricanes begins on Wednesday night. That means back to work for you, Christy. No days yes. off in the playoffs <laughs> at all whatsoever at all. That is Christy Flannery, the great Devils beat writer for the Hockey News. Go check out her work. Christy, as always, a pleasure talking to you and uh, keep up the great work. Thank you so much for having me back. Anytime.